the entrance antiphon for St. Juan Diego. In your strength, O Lord, the just one rejoices. How greatly your salvation makes him glad. You have granted him his soul's desire. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we celebrate today, Juan Diego, whom the Blessed Virgin appeared to, our Lady of Guadalupe. As we remember him and his devotion to her, let's just take a moment and call to mind our sins, ask God for his mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by means of St. Juan Diego showed the love of the Most Holy Virgin Mary for your people, grant through his intercession that by following the counsels of our mother, that our mother gave at Guadalupe, we may be ever constant in fulfilling your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. To whom can you liken me as an equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things. He leads out their army and numbers them, calling them all by name. By his great might and the strength of his power, not one of them is missing. Why, O Jacob, do you say and declare, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God. Do you not know, or have you not heard? The Lord is the eternal God, creator of the ends of the earth. He does not grow faint nor grow weary, and his knowledge is beyond scrutiny. He gives strength to the fainting, for the weak he makes vigor abound. Though young men faint and grow weary, and youth stagger and fall, they that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar as with eagle's wings. They will run and not grow weary, walk and not grow faint. The War of the Lord. Responsorial. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Bless the Lord, my soul. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Come to me, all you who are labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, 
and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There was a very exciting piece of Catholic news that was announced yesterday. Pope Francis declared this year is liturgical year. Uh, starting yesterday, going all the way to December 8th, 2021, as the year of St. Joseph. Uh, We're celebrating this year the 150th anniversary of the proclamation of St. Joseph as the universal patron of the Church and of the world. And so with that, acts of devotion to St. Joseph have been granted plenary indulgences. So just a few things to know that uh, those who meditate on the Lord's Prayer for 30 minutes receive a plenary indulgence, that anyone who does a spiritual or corporal act of mercy, just like St. Joseph had such willingness to work for the good of others, uh, they receive a plenary indulgence. Saying the rosary in your family or as an engaged couple, that's a plenary indulgence. Entrusting one's daily activities to St. Joseph and praying for the unemployed, that's a plenary indulgence. Praying the litany of St. Joseph, a plenary indulgence. Or an act of piety to St. Joseph on his feast days and on the 19th of each month, that's a plenary indulgence. The reason the church has these is to encourage devotion. Encourage the love of our heavenly brothers and sisters, especially St. Joseph, who is a resplendent model of so many virtues. Um, I think in particular, we remember his willingness to say yes. Uh, God's plan was not what he intended, especially as Jesus was being born. And yet, as crazy it may have seemed, he said, yes, all right, Lord, your will be done. So we celebrate in St. Juan Diego today. Our Lady appeared to him, and her plan seemed pretty crazy too. But again, Juan Diego prayed and showed by the actions of his life, not my will, but your will be done. Let us make that our prayer this morning. And now let us stand and offer to God our petitions. For all members of the Church, may the grace of God continue to nourish and strengthen us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world and in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who struggle to provide food, shelter, education, or health care for their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those among us who suffer from physical ailments, may Jesus assure them of his presence and redeeming love in the midst of their trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, May the Lord Jesus lead them to a place of eternal rest and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We now bring forward our private or special intentions that we carry within our hearts. We pray especially this morning for Denise Holtmeyer, for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, please hear our petitions, especially as we await the coming of our Savior. Answer them through Jesus, for we make them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. (laughs) 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through the present oblation, O Lord, which we offer in commemoration of blessed Juan Diego, bestow on your faithful, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mitchell, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The power and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that You should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The Communion Antiphon. Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me, says the Lord. spiritual act of communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, 
and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, in commemoration of blessed Juan Diego, sanctify our minds and hearts, that we may merit to be made sharers in the divine nature through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, on the topic of plenary indulgences, it's also important to note that anyone who is sick right now during the pandemic or anyone who is uh, remaining at home also is uh, granted a plenary indulgence. So uh, another thing to note and also good to recognize if uh, we're sick or if we have to stay home, it's a great way to take advantage of a plenary indulgence. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Before we dismiss, right in front of me is a picture of St. Juan Diego, which Alicia Fella has brought to share with us to commemorate this very important saint for the Americas. Without him, Blessed Virgin, you know, the Empress of the Americas might have been something quite different. In any event, the Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
up to you. You can leave them here if you like, or you can take them home. Have a funeral now. Oh, that's right. We have a funeral at 10 o'clock. So it might be best to take them home. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. And you have to stay. Thank you, Amy. Okay.